So yesterday uh, we discussed the the hybrid uh, where where Mendel uh, did for two traits, okay, and we observed how these traits are inherited uh, separately. Today we are going and we are going to continue uh, our lesson in section six, in chapter six, meiosis and genetic variation. We have an introduction to this lesson, uh, talking about meiosis, and as a revision, you can tell me what happened to the chromosomes during meiosis, please. What happened to the number of chromosomes during meiosis? Who can tell me? Yalla, miss. Sultan. Good morning, Sultan. How are you, dear? How are you, Sultan? Okay, Murad, can you please answer? Okay. Uh, during meiosis, diploid uh, germ cell will, ch will change to uh, four haploid cells. Yes, but uh, what that means, you know, the number of the chromosomes will be divided. Oh, the chromosomes will be divided, will be separated to two cells, right? Ashan Hik, the number of the diploid will become haploid, half the number of the chromosomes, okay? So they, the chromosomes will be separated during meiosis one. The and we have a number that could be germ cell add diploid. We have 46 chromosomes for a human uh, uh, In meiosis one, the number of the chromosomes will be uh, will become half. Why? Because the homologous chromosomes will be separated from each other. Okay. Now, as you know. A body cell that you have is a combination of the chromosome from your mother and your father. You have half from mother, half from father. So uh, this is as a body cell. Nafsi she a germ cell. When meiosis happens, the homologous chromosomes will be separated. So meiosis will happen to produce sperm and egg. Now, do you think all the sperms will have the same? Uh, genetic uh, material, genetic combination. What do you think? When meiosis one happen as a result, all the sperms will have the same genetic material, all the eggs will have the same genetic material. Yes, Fi Abdul Aziz. Um, no, Miss. No. Then now let's look at this video now to see how this happened. And what we mean with this? And a genetic variation, as we said, is the diversity of genes. يعني في عندي الجينات not identical. When fertilization happens, the uh, offspring that are produced during sexual reproduction will be genetically different. ليش؟ لأنه في عندي combination between the egg and the sperm. Each one has different genes. When they combine the embryo or the offspring, that produced will have different genes. So one reason for genetic variation through sexual reproduction is the fertilization with the combination between egg and sperm. Let's see this video. Ah, oh, I'm sure I didn't share it yet. Wait. Okay. The two gametes of sexual reproduction are sperm and egg. Did you notice the large size difference between the sperm and the egg? There's a reason for this, but let's see how their formation differs from one another first. The creation of sperm is called spermatogenesis. It starts with a diploid cell called a primary spermatocyte, and after meiosis one, we said yesterday, spermatocyte is a type of germ cell. The germ cell starts with diploid number of chromosomes. They have their body cell. This hadolic germ cells will become sperm and egg, but they start by diploid at first. It forms two secondary spermatocytes, which are haploid. 
but have a duplicate chromatid with them. After meiosis too, all the cells are haploid, which... So, as a revision, during meiosis 1, this number of the chromosomes will be half. They will be divided. We have what we mean with assortment. Assortment, yani separation. Separation of the chromosomes. So during meiosis, there is another reason that for genetic variation, during meiosis, the homologous chromosomes will be separated randomly. So maybe this sperm has different combination of genes from this and from the other one and from the other one. See, different combinations. We have many possibilities of combinations. Okay? And during meiosis 2, the meiosis 2 is like mitosis. It's the duplication of DNA and the daughter cells daughter cell that produce the parent cell high. Isn't the meiosis 1, this in this stage, the division of or separation of homologous chromosomes will happen here in this stage and it will become half the number. The meiosis 2, the meiosis 1, the mitosis, this book, the duplication of DNA, and the chromatids will move. The meiosis 1, the uh, chromosomes as a whole, chromosomes will be separated. We call the two homologous chromosomes, and the two chromatids, they will be lined up, okay, the equator, and they will be separated as a whole chromosome. We see that we have half the number here and half the number in the other cell. While during meiosis 2, they are mitosis. The mitosis, not the chromosomes separate the chromatids. We call the analytic chromosomes. It will be duplicated as a two chromatids, T centromere, then home. And the two chromatids will separate, producing the same number of uh, chromosomes as the parent cell. And if you have any questions about this, you can tell us about what happens during meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Anyone has any question, please, Ms. Hella, I'm going to come Do you have any question about the difference between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2? What happens during meiosis 1 and meiosis 2? No. Come on. So, during meiosis 1, this assortment happens. So, genetic variation is, uh, what is the, yani, what causes genetic variation, which is very good about in sexual reproduction. And you now, in different uh, genes, different um, traits, you will get, okay? And this caused by genetic variation caused for two reasons. The first reason is fertilization. لأنه أنا عندي a sperm will fertilize an egg. وكل واحد عنده different combination of genes. هذا هي عمل عندي genetic variation. لأنه two different pairs. طبعاً you will have different combination from each parent. And the other reason for genetic variation is meiosis one, in which the homologous chromosomes will be assorted independently. يعني أو راندلي بالشكل عشوائي. Okay, let's continue. Which in humans means they'll have 23 chromosomes. The haploid spermatids will mature into sperm, which will then be motile and ready to fertilize. وبرضو keep in your mind in meiosis one, the homologous chromosomes separated from each other. لما يكون عندي metaphase one, the homologous chromosomes will be separated to two different cells. أما بميوسس تو لا الكروماتيد will be separated زي الميتوسس بالضبط بك الميوسس تو is this clear guys yes understood okay تمام egg the creation of an egg also known as an ovum is called oogenesis like spermatogenesis will start with a diploid cell called a primary oocyte but after meiosis one, the cell that produces the egg is called oocyte. Which we have to know. So we know it's oocyte is a germ cell before it becomes a mature egg. The cytoplasm is divided unevenly, and one cell gets most of the cytoplasm. The cell with the most cytoplasm is called the secondary oocyte, and the other small cell is a polar body. Both of the cells are haploid, with all chromosomes duplicated. 
after meiosis II, the secondary oocyte is again divided unevenly, and most of the cytoplasm goes to the ootid, which will mature into an ovum. What is different about um, uh, the egg and the sperm? In the, in the egg, during the meiosis one and meiosis two, and the four cells will be resolved, but not all of them are eggs. Even have three polar bodies, one is the egg. This is the difference. But it's happening the same way, meiosis one and meiosis two. One mature egg will become an ova or become mature egg, okay? This ovum will have all the organelles, including the mitochondria. Even though only one mature ovum is created by the one oocyte in oogenesis, females are still born with millions of cells and will release hundreds in their lifetime. Not every cell created by one individual is the same. In fact, they're all very different. Genetic recombination from crossing over and independent assortment during meiosis lead to genetic variation and differences in and this is another reason that causes genetic variation, which is the crossing over. The mekuna in the meiosis one, the uh, before before uh, these come into a metaphase and line up, the end with the prophase, there is a process called the crossing over. Who remembers what is the crossing over? Who remembers? Who can explain for us what is the crossing over that happens between the homologous chromosomes? Yalla ya Lujain. Um, it's like when part of each two chromosomes is exchanged. Bravo Aleki. Bravo Aleki. This happened, miss. This happened. Bil meiosis one best enter the prophase, the awal stage the meiosis one. This time, before lining up. Before Yani we kuna al equator. They are already, already mixed. Hala, ana indi al homologous chromosomes will align next to each other. Kulli chromosome is made of two chromatids. Hala, the near part from, of chromatids in different chromosomes. Taba, ma bisir indi ana, it doesn't happen between these two. The crossing over doesn't happen between chromatids of the same chromosome. No. This it doesn't happen here. It happens between chromatids of different chromosomes, homologous chromosomes. See, then the exchanging. One part from this one will be exchanged with the other part from this one. So, the combination of the genes. So, the gene for this one is not like the, like the other one. So, the ikhtilaf, that's the combination. Had the recrossing over means the recombination. Okay? Come on, this is another reason for genetic variation. So during meiosis, where in the beginning the other assortment in the separation of the chromosome, also in addition, there is a crossing over happens between two homologous chromosomes between the chromatid of two homologous chromosomes. Clear, guys? Any question? Yeah. All right. Great. Now, uh, just one minute. All right, no problem. Let's continue the video. In each sperm, an egg. This is why brothers and sisters don't all look identical. <coughs> now, the whole point of making sperm an egg is for fertilization. I think the sister and the brother are not identical. Illa is a kind of twin. Okay? Fertilization to make offspring, babies. Once the haploid set of chromosomes from the sperm are released into the egg, the two sets of chromosomes combine, creating one diploid zygote, which will grow and mature over time into the offspring. We all started out this way just a tiny cell the size of a grain of sand. But sometimes things don't always go so smoothly. Errors during meiosis can cause non-disjunction. Non-disjunction is a failure of homologous chromosomes or sister chromatids to separate during meiosis. Here's one of those cases. During metaphase one, everything is lined up as expected. But during anaphase one, a chromosome is pulled to the wrong side which leads to gametes with incorrect numbers. Some will have an extra chromosome, and some will have one less. This could lead to a variety of issues, 
While most of these cases will lead to miscarriage, some disorders are not life-threatening. Here are some examples of disorders that can occur as a result of non-disjunction. Probably the most widely known one is Down syndrome. In this case, there is an extra 21st chromosome. هذا we talk about later. إحنا عم بحكي هون إنه during beta phase one, the the chromosomes are not separated equally to two different cells. This will make the result. يطلع عندي الجنيت with wrong number. ما حيكون 23. حيكون عندي يا extra one. Yeah, P1 is missed. وهذا حيعمل عندي disorder زي عندي the Mongolian اللي هو Down syndrome. كيف ليش بيطلعوا هيك؟ بيكون في عندي مشكلة وقت صار وقت الميتافيزم بالميوسيس ذا 1 and this will cause problem in the number of the chromosomes in the gametes. هذا حنحكي عنه later on. Okay? All right. I have another nice video also I would like to share it with you. Just a minute. Hello, let's look here at the independent assortment. Welcome to Whiteboard Science's lesson on the independent assortment of genes. Let's review. Remember that each human cell contains 23 maternal chromosomes and a second paternal copy of the same 23 chromosomes, leading to a total of 23 pairs of chromosomes per cell. Is on each cell, we are talking about body cell, has 23 pairs. 23 men, first pair into the male and 23 from the uh, female, so we are taking 23 pairs, which is 4 to 60 chromosomes total. Recall that human cells have two alleles for every gene, which are often marked by either capital letters or lowercase letters. Also remember the difference between a cell's genotype and phenotype. The genotype refers to the genetic makeup of a cell, whereas the phenotype refers to the trait that is ultimately expressed by the genes. When both alleles code for the same phenotype, the cell is deemed homozygous. However, when the two alleles code for different phenotypes, the cell is... It's another cell that we know it, in each gene, full gene, and the on. على الكروموسوم has two alleles ممكن يكون two recessive بيكون homozygous two dominant بيكون homozygous one dominant one recessive بيكون heterozygous genotype قلنا هو that gives the makeup of the uh, gene وphenotype that gives you the physical characteristic is deemed heterozygous and will ultimately have the phenotype of whichever allele is dominant Remember that during mitosis, diploid cells, which are cells with double the normal amount of DNA, will divide their genetic content equally between two daughter cells, each having a full set of DNA. During meiosis, diploid cells will divide twice into four haploid gametes, each with half the normal amount of DNA. Of these gametes, half will contain the paternal copy of a given chromosome, and half will contain the maternal copy. If we look at two parents that are both heterozygous for gene A, we can easily visualize the possible offspring genotypes using something called a Punnett square. If we line up the possible paternal gametes against the possible maternal gametes, and then add all the possibilities together, we see that there are four possible offspring genotypes from this cross. And the female has these two alleles of the of the specific gene. هلا هذه عندها these two alleles in their body cells. هلا when meiosis happen to produce six cells, each six cell will have either this or that. عشان هيك إحنا بنحط على the net square هون هي the axis, the axis of the net square. The axis of the net the net square اللي هي possible. Uh, alleles of each uh, gene for each uh, six cell, and here the possible allele. Okay, so each gamete will have only one one allele of the gene. Let me say I'm the six cell. The donor, the parent, either the sperm will have a say this is the male, either the sperm will have this allele or this, will female either this or this. في او حتطلع هيك ايك حتطلع هيك وفي ايك جات حتطلع هيك ونفس الشيء السبرم لما يصير كومبينيشن الاوف سبرينج اللي ترند فيرتيلايزيشن وان فروم هير 
and one from here will join. I am in the least possibility. Offspring phenotype, we see that three of the four possible genotypes will lead to the dominant phenotype for gene A, whereas only one of the four possible genotypes will lead to the recessive phenotype for gene A. Now let's make things a little more complicated by looking at two genes, A and B, instead of just one. If two parents are both heterozygous for both genes, then four possible gametes can be produced, each with different combinations of the alleles for genes A and B. It is critical to note that if the two genes are on different chromosomes, one and two traits, I could have the enough from each allele, one for this trait and one allele from for this trait. So he, here are the possible combination of the alleles for two traits. Which the one trait, two traits. I have to know which name. They are on the zones from one another. Then okay, this with this again, this with this, to make all the possible alleles. These four gametes will form in equal proportions. This is called the law of independent assortment, which is a big buzz term when discussing genetics. Now, the Punnett square for this dihybrid cross is a little more complex than the last one. Six types, we notice this is what did we learn? First, we reviewed the idea okay. that human cells. Alright, so let's go back to our book. Okay, uh, so as we said, sexual production, we create unique gene combination, okay? And the major advantage, this actor issue in sexual reproduction, who oh, it gives rise to gen, to great deal of genetic variation, okay? Within a species. Okay? Will variation result largely from one and two reasons? The first reason is the independent assortment of the chromosomes during meiosis, and who is separation of the chromosomes during meiosis independently. Okay. And the second reason who were the mixing of alleles as gametes joining during fertilization. So separation or assortment of chromosomes during meiosis and mixing again during fertilization. هذا اللي بيعمل عندي genetic variation. Okay? وطبعا أنا عندي many combinations may happen between the genes. لو إحنا أخذنا مثلا during meiosis when this assortment happened, okay? في عندي chance, في عندي فرص, في عندي possibilities to happen. كيف الجين, كيف يصير في عندي crossing over between different parts. But I will have many, many uh, combination possibilities. Yeah, listen, we're again as a human, Rehna, we still have 23 pairs of the chromosomes. Each pair, each pair, uh, line up independently. The gametes will have half, yeah, I have 23, with two 23 to the power of 23. So, we have 8 million different combinations of the chromosomes can be produced by meiosis. تخيلوا during the meiosis ممكن أنت عندي أنا possibility to have eight million different combinations. Yes, miss. All right. So تخيلوا when this the, we have uh, eight million or eight million. تقريبا عندي أنا لما يصير عندي fertilization between the egg and the sperm في عندي احتمال يكون عندي seventy trillion combinations possible. And I have hundreds of genes out of the chromosome. Hundreds. The hundreds with different combinations will make a lot of possibilities for different combinations and variation. Okay, so uh, uh, what are the two reasons that cause the genetic variation? Who can tell me? Oh, the genetic variation results from what? Two, two things, what are they? Yellow, yellow, Jane. The first one is independent assortment. And During second, what? Where, where, where does where does this happen? During what? Meiosis one. Bravo, Aleki. And what is the other reason, Yellow, Jane? It's crossing over. La, every the crossing over is the Janado. A crossing over is a reason. Sah, sah. You see, come an issue, but the fertilization. Because fertilization is the combination of egg. And sperm 
and each one has different combination of uh, chromosomes and genes. When they fertilize with each other, this will cause genetic variation. And the bil asexual reproduction, man, the ana fertilization. If one system is dividing, so that's the identical generation, man, the genetic variation. And now, because of sexual reproduction, the and the fertilization that happens between two different sexes, have here man the combination and genetic variation between the genes. صحيح يا لجاي؟ Yes. إذا هلا اللي حكينا عنهم إحنا the independent assortment which happens during meiosis one. And fertilization, these are the two key roles that maintain genetic diversity in sexually reproducing organisms. Okay? Hella, the crossing over, as we said, also increases genetic diversity. The احتمالية genetic diversity. And why? Lainno, also it happens in meiosis one in early stage, in the prophase one. What happened? Two homologous chromosomes pair up with each other during prophase, one in meiosis. Okay. In this position, some chromatids are very close to other segments, and some of these segments break off and attach and currently exchange to the other uh, homologous chromosome. This will make different, different combination, recombination between these two chromosomes with different genes. Okay. So is an crossing over results in a new combination of genes. It's called recombination. Is an issue me a crossing over recombination because it makes a new combination or result in a new combination. Okay. Tamam. وهذا طبعا بيكون عندي mixing of parental allele. Mixing of parental allele. بيكون عندي mixing between between these alleles. قبل ما يصير لهم separation. لسه أنا هون بهاي المرحلة لسه أنا عندي ال ال cell لسه فيها deployed. They didn't separate. لسه هون بال first stage of meiosis one بال prophase. صار عندي crossing over. After this will be separated. فهدول هم ملوكس الكروموسوم أصلاً parental من your father or your mother. قبل ما يصير لهم separation صار عندي crossing over. بعدين بميتا فيز 1 وانا فيز 1 they will be separate to have the number تمام؟ any question؟ طيب هلا the last point we are going to talk about today is something called gene linkage now crossing over as we say it's a reason for uh, uh, شو for uh, genetic variation تمام؟ Mendel, from his research, he know that genes located on separate chromosomes assert independently. We know that in the full gene asserted independently, separated and randomly and independently. Had an independent random assorted chromosome during meiosis, but this is caused by, sorry, oh. okay, had a, this is independent is caused by the random assortment of the chromosomes during meiosis. But PND and a single chromosome can have hundreds of genes. احنا قلنا كل كروموسوم يمكن يكون فيه hundreds of genes. What happens when it comes to two genes هذولا are both on the same chromosome? عندي جين A, جين B, جين C, جين D كانوا على the same chromosome. Will they display independent assortment as a gene, not as a chromosome part, as a gene as well? Or they will travel together. Okay? Hella. Hella, it depends. Now, can we do the gene at the same locus, at the same position, or a place on a chromosome, on a place on a one chromosome? Few and some genes are close together, or few and even them apart from each other. Hella, the farther apart two genes are located, the more likely they are to be separated and crossing over. كل ما كان الجينز بعاد عن بعض at different locus بيكون في more chance to be crossing over between the other chromatids of other chromosomes. أما when the two genes are closer together, the genes located in closer together tend to inherit together. عادة لما يكونوا هم قراب على بعض كتير they will they will be inherited together. فمنسميها the gene linkage كأنهم مربوطين مع بعض. 
So, and A and B are not linked to C and D. شايفين هدول A gene, A gene B not linked to C and D because they are so far apart. Crossing over is likely to occur in the space between the gene B, C, B and C, thereby separating N and A and B from C and D. فممكن يصير عندي أنا هون crossing over في هاي المنطقة because they are apart from each other. While A and B هدول are linked because they are very close to each other at the same location, so they will be not the, not all the time. They may be inherited together. So we call them gene linkage or genetic linkage. So linked gene will be inherited in the same predicted ratio as with a single a single gene. So I have to compress a little bit. The crossing over will happen between farther apart genes. ما راح يصير بهاي المنطقة حيكون بعاد عن بعض بمنطقة بعيدة الجينز عن بعض. أما الجين لينكج where they inherited together it happens between two close genes very close genes. Okay guys any question till here? Okay, so uh, we will continue, inshallah, next week. I hope to see you all in a